Automation HQ provides IT teams with the essential centralized tools to manage security and maintain compliance across the organization. It supports unlimited workspaces, and you can provision workspaces for business units, departments, or teams. All workspaces roll up to a central organization workspace that is the Automation HQ workspace. Here we're logged in as an admin for the Center of Excellence team within IT. So let's now switch over to Automation HQ and take a look at the governance tools available to us. Now, in Automation HQ, we immediately get a bird's eye view of how different teams within the organization are using Workado. At a glance, we can see there are 23 teams who are using Workado and get a summary view of usage for each of them. For example, the finance team here has 15 members who have automated 43 different processes across apps like Coupa, SAP, NetSuite, and some others. And we can also see that the finance team has already consumed 12 and a half of the 15 million tasks allocated to them and might need some extra tasks for upcoming projects. So now let's take a deep dive into the finance team's workspace. As we click into the finance team, we can review the operational dashboard that the finance team sees in their own workspace. We can see that the 43 recipes have consumed 2.1 million tasks in the last seven days and they're working on 12 projects. And below, we can also view the applications the team is currently using, such as SAP, NetSuite, and Anaplan. Next, in the Usage tab, we can view the finance team's usage over time. It shows steady growth in tasks. However, based on the recipe usage, it tells us that they have not gone live with new projects in the past few months. Based on this info, we in the Center of Excellence team will check in on the finance team to find out their plans for new projects and to see if they need any help. As team sizes grow and more members join a workspace, it's important to centrally monitor that the invited members follow the policies of your company. For example, no HR or marketing team members can access the finance workspace and vice versa. And that employees have the right level of access and are using preset custom roles that follow the least privilege policy. And finally, when a new workspace is created, by default, each team has access to all app connectors, but we can adjust access depending on each team's needs. Here on the right, we can see that we have set up only the app connectors the finance team requires for their projects, such as Anaplan, SAP, Coupa, and Expensify, and some others. And we can click on Edit Access to add or remove apps. Here we'll add access to Airtable for the finance team for their project management automations coming up. Now if we zoom back out of the finance team, we can navigate to the Usage tab in Automation HQ to get a summary view of usage across all workspaces in the org. We can see that across the company we have automated over 1,200 processes since August and have consumed over 800 million tasks. This view also displays the total capacity included in our contract across the org. We see that there are 2,000 recipes and 2 billion tasks allocated and we can click in to view the add-ons, such as two on-prem agents, 20 enterprise work bots, and some others. With Automation HQ, these add-ons are available across all workspaces within the organization. And at the bottom of this page, we can also see the usage growth trends for each team. We can toggle between recipes and tasks to view how the consumption trends are growing or slowing down for each. We can further drill down into the trends for each team and when looking at the usage trends, we can see here that the PeopleOps team does not have any activity yet. So when a team begins their automation journey, it's just not enough to create or provision a workspace for them. We need to give them the right support, guidance, and resources to make them successful. We can do this by assigning moderators for the PeopleOps team. Moderators play a dual role of a guide that helps the team get started and that of a supervisor that ensures all teams follow standards and stay compliant. So here we'll add Bosker as a moderator for PeopleOps. And instead of making him a moderator for all workspaces, I'll assign him to just the PeopleOps team so he can help them. Now, with so many teams, good governance is key. The essential pillars of good governance are active monitoring and auditing. We can audit activity and usage across all workspaces with the central log streaming service. In the Settings tab, we can turn on Audit Log Streaming and set up Workado to stream job history and user activity audit 
to a destination like Splunk, Sumo Logic, Datadog, or an S3 bucket. This enables centralized auditing in real time for activity across all workspaces. In addition to monitoring and governing all existing workspaces, also when a new team requests to start their automation journey, we can easily create and provision a new workspace for any team. So here we can create a new workspace for a RevOps team and provision them 100 recipes and 5 million tasks. Now as an admin for the Center of Excellence, in addition to these governance tools, we at the COE team can use the Automation HQ workspace to create reusable assets to be available across the organization, such as APIs for data cleansing and validation, standard workbot templates, and common data models. And these are accessible by all teams, the finance team, the people ops team, the BI team, and all others. Let's log in as a member of the finance team. And here we can see the finance team is working on automations for procure to pay, order to cash, and several other critical business processes. And as a finance team member, we see that this is a standard workspace that comes with the tools for managing workspace access, lifecycle management, and lookup tables. And in each project, we have access to setting up connections and building recipes. Automation HQ is Workado's solution for large or complex organizations to drive automation at scale. It empowers your company to work with the agility of startups while tapping into the capacity, resources, creativity, and shared knowledge of the entire organization. To find more information about Automation HQ, you can visit our docs at docs.workado.com.